All right, how you doing? Mr. DJ's back with another Lost 45. Just heavy pickets, baby. Lots of pickets on uh, Bill Wars Hot 100, July 9th, 1966. July 9th, 1966, Bill Wars Hot 100. And the song at number 75, dropping from 61 the previous week. Only got as high as number 61, but we are talking classic soul. We're talking about Mr. Otis Redding, Mr. Pitiful, Mr. Otis Redding. That he was big in the South before he got big in the rest of the country. Otis Redding from Georgia. He quit school when he was 15 years old to support his family. How did he support his family? He joined Lil Richard's backing band called the Upsetters. By 1958, he was in a band called the Pine Toppers. He toured the southern states. He appeared at a recording session, unscheduled, at Stax Records, the Stax record label. He was good. Apparently, somebody was impressed. He was offered a contract. And he whipped out his first single, These Arms of Mine, Mr. Otis Redding. And then there was security. There was Mr. Pitiful. Oh, God, I've been loving you too long. God, yes, getting some those goosebumps on that Otis Redding record. I've been loving you too long. Guess who, co guess who he co-wrote that song with? Jerry Butler of the Impressions. I've been loving you too long. Try a little tenderness from 1966, 67. That was you know, a song that was originally done. That record originally done by Bing Crosby and Frank Sinatra. That Otis Redding had to hit with it. Try a little tenderness. He played small gigs here in the South, but he was pretty big outside the. Well, he was big in the South, but he played at larger venues outside the South. He played the legendary Whiskey at Go Go in Los Angeles. He played at uh, venues in Europe and London and Paris. Otis Redding did. He appeared at the Monterey Pop Festival in 1967. The Who, Moby Grape, Mamas and Papas. Oh, I love Michelle Phillips. And uh, Otis Redding making an appearance at the Monterey Pop Festival. And then he had that huge big hit sitting on the dock of the bay which was uh, produced by Steve Crocker, Steve Cropper I believe but the song I want to play for you is My Lover's Prayer uh, only guy's size number 61 I believe I already mentioned that actually Otis Redding he got he was pretty well off he was well off enough to buy a farm a ranch in Georgia 300 acres that's right called it the big old farm I believe or maybe it was the big old ranch that he called it Man, it's Otis Redding. This is my lover's prayer, 1966. Talk about that sweet soul music as it was done in the day. The load star of soul beating Otis Red beating an Otis Redding Redding's heart. Still pulsating to this day. 